I joined the Air Force to see the world. Now, I was an army brat. I was actually born in Germany. I've been to Canada. I've been to most of the interesting places east of the Mississippi. After joining the Air Force, I've been to places like Spain, Portugal, Greece, Saudi Arabia, England many times, around, around the country a lot. And all those places have great memories to them. But the one that I tell the most about is my very first trip with the Air Force. It was called an incentive flight. My base, K.I. Sawyer in Upper Michigan, had a plane going from K.I. out to San Francisco for the weekend, leaving Friday morning, coming back Monday morning. They had 60 some seats, jump seats on the plane, waiting for people to get on them. They, we signed up, I got chosen as one that can go. While on the plane, uh, I teamed up with three other people, a captain and two airmen, uh, Jack and Diane. As we got off the plane in San Francisco, we were ready to start our grand adventure. But one thing I forgot is that up until this point, all of my trips that I've ever taken were planned by somebody else. I had no planning on this trip. We got off the plane, the captain said, we need to get ourselves a rental car. So we didn't go to Hertz, we didn't go to Avis, we didn't go to Budget. We went to a place called rent a -Rec. We got ourselves a 1963 Chrysler Newport, and this was in March of 1979. We spent the rest of that Friday driving around San Francisco, looking at the sites, the Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz, uh, uh, the, the Windy Hill. We drove and drove and drove. That night, we got ourselves a little hotel room in the Red Light District. As we got settled in, we went out. Jack and Diane went their way, Captain and I went our, our way. Uh, we weren't out on the street more than two minutes, if that, and we had two girls come up to us and say, are you boys looking for a date? Do you have that little green card? Referring, of course, to our military ID card. Well, Captain pulls out his wallet, pulls up and pulls out his card just enough so they could see that's military ID card. And then, well, as the, the, the evening went, Captain had himself a date for the evening. He went back to the hotel room me, not having much money at all with me, I went to catch up with Jack and Diane. And we went around to some of the uh, strip shows, one drink minimum or two drink minimums, whatever they were. And that was our evening. The next morning, we were gonna head down to Los Angeles because Captain had some friends down there that we could stay with Saturday night. Hello. Up to this point, we'd been taking turns driving. Captain was first, I was second. Uh, Jack third, Diane fourth. Jack was a terrible driver. He would tailgate, he would shift or change lanes abruptly, he would speed, you name it. But it was my turn to, to drive leaving San Francisco. And as we're leaving, Captain leans over and said, boy, I, that uh, miles are really racking up. Is there something we can do about that? And I said, yeah, I know how to unhook the speedometer. But just next stop, I reached up. Uh, undid the speedometer cable, no speedometer, no problem. We have, we just stayed speeding with the cars. I mean, cars go, we go, no problem. Well, we were all, all over uh, Los Angeles that day. We went to see Grumman's Chinese Theater, Hollywood Walk of Fame, the Hollywood sign, Beverly Hills, you name it. Sunday was no different. We kept on going around Rodeo Drive and just saw the sights. We ended the our trip on Sunday there uh, with a brief dip in the Pacific Ocean. As we're heading back, it's eight o'clock at night now. And Captain and I were in the car. We're going to pick up Jack and Diane a little farther down the road. Captain leans over to me because it's my turn to drive. He says, drive as long as you can. I don't want him driving. Well, it's eight o'clock at night. It's an eight hour drive back to San Francisco. And I'm driving along, no problem. Cars, keeping up with cars. It, it was going fine. It's four o'clock in the morning. I got four lanes of traffic going into San Francisco. 
and we're the only car on the road. Remember, no speedometer. Suddenly, blue, 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 blue. California Highway Patrol pulling us over. A million things are running through our mind at this point in time. What was I doing wrong? Was I speeding? Are they going to find out about the speedometer on hook? Because technically that's stealing. We're not, we're not paying for it. Uh, am I going to make my flight back? Am I going to spend the night in jail? I'm just over, constant running through my mind. They walk up each side of the, each side of the car, roll down my window, and they start asking the questions. Do uh, you know how fast you're going? How much have you had to drink? Where are you, where are you going? Where are you coming from? And we answered all the questions. And cap, or the police officer leans over and says, do you know why I pulled you over? And I, I no, no, sir, I don't. He said, well, you were weaving between the reflectors on the road and you were going 46 miles an hour. If you were going another mile an hour slower, I'd have to give you a ticket. Well, needless, we got no warnings, no nothing. He just let us go on the way. Captain, I'll drive from here because he didn't want Jack to drive. We made it back to the rental wreck place. I hooked up the speedometer. We checked it, make sure everything worked. We made it back to our flight and uh, made it back. Remember, I said I joined the Air Force to see the world. After this experience, I was hooked. <laughs>